Loading Station The part carrier is loaded on the line at this station. This station stages the carrier on the line. Once the recipe is selected, the carrier will begin the fluorescent penetrant inspection, or FPI, process. There is an electrically interlocked hardstop built into the station to ensure the carrier cannot advance when the elevator isn't in the low position. Elevator Station This robust elevator has the capacity to lift your heaviest process parts. This station lifts the carrier to the system processing height. This height is dictated by the largest part height that needs to be dip emulsified in the process. If water wash penetrant is selected, this station need not be present. Penetrant Spray Station RELFPI processing utilizes electrostatic penetrant spray application as the standard method for all penetrant levels and types. This station has a top and bottom mounted gun to maximize coverage. Run multiple guns if you need to run different penetrant sensitivities. If you're ready to operate your FPI equipment on as little as 5% of the penetrant compared to your old dip system, it's time to upgrade to electrostatic spray. Dwell Station The dwell station on this line shown is an area that will hold two baskets. The size of this area typically is defined by the customer's daily throughput. Pre-rinse Station Rinsing is accomplished by a pressure-controlled traversing spray header. This spray header moves front to back in the booth and delivers water to the part surface via spray nozzle. The supply pump utilizes recycled water for the initial part rinsing, followed by a fresh water supplied rinse. Emulsifier Station This station is the culprit that controls the pass-through line height for your FPI line. The dip system is electrically powered and controlled to allow for smooth accelerations and consistent processing time during transit to ensure that the process specifications called out by ASTM 1417 are met. For this station, the control system doesn't allow parts to dip if there is a basket in the post-rinse station. This is to ensure that the parts are being rinsed within the specified two-minute window after emulsification. Post-rinse station Rinsing is accomplished by a pressure-controlled traversing spray header. This spray header moves front to back in the booth and delivers water to the part surface via spray nozzle. The supply pump utilizes recycled water for the initial part rinsing, followed by a fresh water supplied rinse. Dryer Station this station can be powered by electricity, gas, or steam. REL puts the coil in the duct that is circulating the air in the station. Temperature control in the oven chamber is accomplished by the temperature in this duct. REL ovens come with a customer-specified calibration port for oven temperature verification. Cross-transfer Conveyors to convey carriers to the other side of line based on room constraints. Lowerator Station This robust lowerator has the capacity to lift your heaviest process parts. This station lowers the carrier to the system inspection height. This height is typically 36 inches. Dry Developer Station This station applies dry developer in the form of a cloud. Electrostatic spray is available also. A dust collector with an HEPA filter keeps dust from migrating outside of the station area.